A week after a shooting rampage on the Michigan State University campus left three dead and several more wounded, students are expected to return to classes on Monday. School officials saying today that campus life will look and feel a whole lot different. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos. That's right, Dana. From an increased police presence to hundreds of classes being relocated, there are just some of the changes MSU have put into place ahead of the students' return to campus on Monday. We are a community that is strong, not as a reaction, but as a statement of purpose and principle. Leaders at Michigan State University offer words of guidance and strength. As students get ready to resume classes on the campus where tragedy struck a week ago when a gunman opened fire, killing three students and injuring five others. While a sense of normalcy is the goal, grieving and reflecting appear to be priority for administrators. What are the assignments? For this week, in particular, we have asked that there be no heavy lifts. There be no attempts at making up for lost time. Berkeley Hall and the MSU Student Union, the two buildings where the shootings occurred, will be closed and off limits to students and faculty. Roughly 300 classes that took place at those sites now relocated to spaces across campus. Family and friends gathered this weekend for a vigil for junior Ariel Diamond Anderson, one of the three victims killed. Her funeral expected to take place in the coming days, while funerals for victims Brian Frazier, a sophomore, and Alexandria Verner, a junior, were held Saturday. Meanwhile, four of the injured victims remain in critical condition, while one is unstable. As the investigation continues, to determine what motivated the rampage where suspect 43-year-old Anthony Dwayne McRae opened fire and was found dead hours later from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, the healing process for students is proving to be difficult. Please recognize that our students are not doing well and that we need these spaces to heal together. Officials with MSU also announced that they will be paying for the victims' funerals as well as hospital bills for those wounded in last week's shooting. The funds coming from their Spartan Strong Fund, which has already raised more than a quarter of a million dollars since the shooting. Live in the newsroom, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Andrew, thank you.